in this tutorial you are going to learn about simpson's rule okay so this is one of the rule we have studied in numerical methods and of course i'm going to share with you how to solve this problem by using this rule but before going to do that let me share with you a couple of things okay so basically in case of simpson's rule simpson's rule we are having we are having two methods method one and method two that is one third and three by eight one third three rule and three by eight rule okay so you know these three methods but here we are going to use this one by three methods but let me share with you one fact that is we usually make mistake here in case of three by eight rule we sometimes we uh, I mean we unable to figure out this that's why we said eight by three rules we don't I mean most of the time many I have seen many because I have confused whenever I have studied studying about numerical methods so let me share with you one of the most important tip for you that's why you will not forget about it okay so here as you can see 1 by 3 what is the value of 1 by 3.33 that means it is less than 1 okay now again 8 by 3 8 by 3 if it is uh, sorry 3 by 8 if it is 3 by 8 then it is 0.375 so again it is less than 1 what is the meaning of this that means if I will do 8 by 3 then it will be more than 1 that is that is that is the mean that means we have to take this rule that the value should be if I will calculate less than 1 if you remember this then things done you will not get confused okay so this is all about it I mean uh, that's why I've shared with you now I have already shared with you one of the method which is also important for gate examination point of view that is trapezoidal method okay so one tip I would like to share with you here right now only if you will solve a same question by using trapezoidal method and Simpson's rule the most accurate answer will get by using Simpson's rule that's why uh, you know if you are using this method to solve any real life problem then I would recommend to use Simpson's rule then trapezoidal rule okay got that point now we'll we'll solve this question so in this question what they have given that is they have given data and they have said the intervals of the intervals of 0 0.25 okay now there is a formula for finding out uh, the this problem this uh, the solution of this problem by using Simpson's one third rule so the formula is here h by 3 x naught plus 4 x 1 plus x 3 plus dot 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 plus x n minus 1 so this is 4 now 2 will get 2 x 2 plus x 4 plus dot 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 plus x n minus 1 plus x n so this is the formula for finding out uh, pro solution of this problem by using Simpson's 1 by 3 rule okay now let me share with you one thing uh, this is n minus 2 okay let me say with one thing that is what is the meaning of this x n minus 1 and n, n minus 2 okay suppose that here here it is ending with it is ending with what x4 that means x n is what n is equal to n is equal to 4 now if it is n minus 1 then we have to take under this bracket values up to n minus 1 means x3 and here we have to take values under bracket that means n minus n is 2 n is 4 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so n is equal to so it is here 2 so up to uh, yeah so n minus 2 that means up to two values will take under this under this bracket are you getting my point so based on this we will solve the problem now h is equal to this i already said the interval is 0.25 so h is 0.25 by 3 so what is the value of x naught from this table alone we can say that x naught is value is here 1 plus 4 multiple 0.94 1 to x1 then we'll take in x3 x1 plus x3 
प्लस टू पॉइंट एट प्लस एक्स फोर इज पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो so now look at the i mean the formula main formula i have shared with you and the values i have written here all right now what we have to use you know that we have to use calculator so let's use calculator 1 plus 4 multiple 0.9412 plus 0.64 plus 2 multiple 0.8 plus 0.5. Okay, we are getting values here. 9.4248 multiplied 2.5 division 3. So the answer we are getting here that is, as you can see here, that is 0.7854. 0.7854 for this question. So in this way, how you can solve a uh, numerical problem by using same sense rule. And the same sort of numerical problem I have just shared with you. This problem already asked in gate previous year. So this is really good. I mean, if you are learning question, those already asked in gate, and you are preparing for gate, that means it's really awesome for you. I hope you understand the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again in my next video tutorial. Bye bye. Hope to see you again. Right? Bye bye.